We're here at St Andrew's Gardens at the unveiling ceremony of a brand new statue here behind me. It has been erected to commemorate all of those from the Commonwealth who volunteered to fight for Britain from the years 1914 up until modern day. The person chosen to represent all of these people in statue form is a man named Mahinda Puji, who was a pilot in World War II and an all-round remarkable human being. So I am very lucky to be speaking to Douglas Jennings, the creator of the incredible statue that is behind us now. Um, so for those of us who aren't sculptors, uh, could you tell us a little bit about the process about making something like this? Well, first of all, you research your subjects. So Mahinda Singh Bougie, uh, I'd never heard of him. Uh, so a lot of research went into. He's luckily he's got a book all about his life. So that I started there. I then wanted to look at some video footage of him, uh, old black and white photos from his time in the RAF, to you know try and get an idea of, of who he was and you know guess who he was really and how he would stand and what he would do in a situation. So from that, I, I came up with my composition of, of him standing there, very heroic, very classical looking, and, uh, and, and, and very sure of himself, you know, which you would be if you're a fighter pilot. Indeed. Uh, and then obviously researching the uniform as well, what he would have worn, his best, you know, so the great coat would have been his best. And, and also it made for a lovely sculpture. Yes. The fluidity of the, of the, the folds and the coat sweat behind him. Well, now that you've, you've started to talk about that, um, I've had the chance to walk all the way around. Obviously, he's facing yes, this way. But it's very important, the rear view. The rear is actually, yes. the detailing behind that is incredible. Yes, um, yes. From your from your mouth, are there any particular parts of it that you're most proud of? I think the portrait, uh, for me, is very important. It has to look like the person and, you know, and it has to capture something, something in the eyes, so when we're looking up at him, you feel you're taken in by him. Sure, sure. But uh, also, I love creating uh, very traditional drapery. So the coat, the back of the coat, the belt buckle, looped through and hanging down is almost yes. a portrait in itself. So, you know, I'm, I'm proud of I'm proud of it. Uh, the goggles I found were the goggles, yes. really incredible. Yeah. Um, so, um, you've done a lot of work with uh, Madden Two Swords as well. I, I have done, yes. So how would uh, the process of making those statues compare to this? Well, it's, it's very similar in a way. Everything is clay sculpted. Okay. Um, but with, with a, a two-sword figure, you, you don't go into great detail with hair and obviously no clothes. Uh, so it's all about the face. Um, so but the process starts off the same. You know, you build an armature, you, you start laying on the clay, you start modeling the clay. But here, you know, you, you just take it a step further now. Yeah. So the realism has to come from the sculpting rather than punched hair and glass eyes. And, sure, yeah. yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. And, and how long did it take, the whole thing? Um, well, the whole project's been a year. Right, uh, right. Sculpting would have been six months, and then uh, once the mould is taken, it would then be in the foundry for three to four months, and then of okay. course the carving of the, the stone plinth. I see, yeah, yeah. Yeah, people forget about the plinth. Indeed, yes, with <laughs> looking at the engaging face. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, thank you so much for talking to okay. us. I'm going to shake those sculptor's hands once more. <laughs> thank you very All right, much. Pleasure.
So we're sitting in front of the statue, joined by the the children of the great man himself. I have Satinda and Rita. Now this must be an incredibly proud moment for you both. Absolutely, a very very proud moment for us. We could have never imagined something like this would, would, would take place. Yes. So, if you could, <laughs> I've I've had a look at all of the achievements of this great man, and I was staggered when I read down the list. Could you tell us why you think he was chosen to represent all the people that volunteered? Well, I think they would look for somebody who is special. Who is most worthy of this. Order because you are representing three million people of volunteers. And there is some odd reason I think they selected my dad. I also being a Sikh in the Sikh community. So they, they thought that it would be good idea to have a Sikh community or an officer where people, the children can look up to. Yes. Or a soldier or a you know, foot soldier. Or so that's the reason they were happy to get to his death. So he was actually, he, he was shot down twice, right. I believe. And he also, uh, he also found a group of Americans who were yes. he rescued them, yes. surrounded by Japanese and, and led to their rescue, yes. is that right? Yeah, that's right. I mean, everybody gave up, the American Air Force gave up, RAF gave up, because those times he has joined Royal Indian Air Force in Burma, it was called Royal Indian, because that by that time, Indian Air Force started, before there was no war. So he was in charge of the Royal Indian Air Force. And he was known as the eyes of the army. The eyes of the so, army? Puji is the eyes of the army. He's the one who will find him. So uh, I think it's a general swim, especially the question. So he said to my dad, that Puji, you the only person who can please help for this. Because they're desperate. They have wow. no food, no communication for almost five, six days. And he found me. He went to the treetops, very low flying. From the Japanese side, the Japanese think they all play this country. They're Incredible. Yeah. But of course his, uh, his achievements in his life uh, go beyond that of the army, uh, the, sorry, the, the RAF. Um, we did not. A sporting man as well? Sporting and Glider. He, was, uh, he, he won the diamond pin in gliding. Gliding? And he was a national uh, winner of the heiress, national heiress. Thrice he won the heiress of India. And, uh, a badminton player as well? Yes, absolutely. Badminton, badminton champion. champion. A champion. champion. He seems to be a champion in many things. Yes. All the three people, all the family, we were good badminton because he's I really had his jeans in there. Yeah. <laughs> well, I like badminton too, so perhaps we'll have a game sometime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much thank for, you. Thank for talking to me. It's so a much. really amazing moment. Thank you. Thank you.